so much. Yes, Fred is in the middle of the what 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 is that? Which lake is that? Is it Lake Michigan? Is he in the middle of right now? No. You know it. I would say he's up the river, but that has the wrong kind of thing. <laughs> right. You know, that's just part of the freedoms we have as a travel agent. You know, it's a Tuesday. He's in the middle of Lake Michigan having a good time on the water. So, you know, kudos to Fred for, for taking advantage of the opportunities he had in front of him in order to participate in that kind of freedom. So I'm really excited, you guys, about today. Super excited about seeing you guys. Hello, Tamara. Hello, Delena. Hello, Tamika. Hey, Mona. Hi, everybody. Super, I'm looking at the chat box. You know, a lot of times we don't use – um, the tools we have, right? And a lot of times when we're doing things, sometimes just knowing that you have, hey, Sheila, hey, Tracy, just knowing that you have support um, in your business and what you're doing can definitely take you to another level. You know, how many of you guys, hey, Cheryl, hey, Cecilia, how many of you guys know when you're doing something by yourself, when you're doing something by yourself, it's a little bit harder to motivate yourself but when you're in a room with a lot of people and you're excited and things are like you know they're pushing you pushing you pushing you it's almost easier to do the exact same task that you would have done by yourself right you guys agree that it's a lot easier when you have that support when you have that motivation when somebody else is there to fill up your cup right it's really good I'm looking at the chat box nobody's saying anything hey Daphne hey Debbie Nobody, you guys agree? Do you not agree? Do you agree? Am I talking to myself? Give me some feedback. I need to hear you. I need to see you. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. Agree. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I need for this call to be as interactive as possible. I have a treat for every single person on this call. I have a super treat for every single person on this call. Is there anybody here who can use a set, a pair of AirPods? Anybody here need some AirPods? Does anybody here need some AirPods? Anybody need AirPods? I see some me's. Oh, okay. So now everybody who wants to participate, see you guys, when there is um, something that you're going to get, sometimes it's even easier for you to get to where you need to go, right? You got to go there anyway. You want to go there anyway. You need to go there anyway. But when there's that thing, that carrot, that dangling thing that you want at the end of the place, then you're going to get there faster. Now listen, we have thousands, okay, let me say this again. We have thousands of people on our team, thousands of them, thousands of them, and you guys are the chosen 40, okay? You're here. There's 40 of us, but I want to give you guys a challenge. I want to see if we can do something right now that would definitely result in a gift for all of you. If we can right now Get this call. There's 40 of us. If we can get this call to triple digits, if we can get 100 people on this call and keep at least 100 people on this call until the end of the call, I'll make sure every single person on this call gets a set of AirPods. A set of AirPods. All we got to do is get 100 people on this call, and if we can get 100 people on this call and they can stay until we say goodbye, then every single person on this call We'll get a set of AirPods. AirPods. I keep saying AirPods because they're going in your ears, but they're AirPods. You guys up for the challenge? Are you up for the challenge? Take a second, hop on Facebook, and go into somebody's messenger. Tell them, get on here now. You need to hear this information. Get here now. You need to hear this information. Text somebody. You're not on the call. I'm looking at the list right now. There are a couple people on here that I don't see, that I normally see. There's nobody here even in the L's. We have no L's. We have no K's, which means there's no Keisha's, <laughs> no Kiana's. We have no L's, which means there's no Linda's, no Laura's, no, there, where are these people? So hop, you guys, let's take, we're going to take one minute, just one minute, if every single person got, took a moment, and just told three people, get on this call. I need you on this call right now. If you hop on this call, you can tell them. If you hop on this call, every single person on this call is going to get a set of AirPods. If you hop on this call, every single person is going to get a set of AirPods. Can we do it? Can we do it? Are you guys up for the challenge? Can you do it? Can you do it? Let's see. Let's see. 
We got about two minutes. Let's see. You guys, whenever there is um, something at the end of that tunnel, the light at the end of the tunnel, the car that you want to purchase, the house that you're trying to buy, if there's ever anything at the end of the tunnel that you're working for, you're going to work a little bit harder, right? Nikki and Charles kind of touched on that on the call a couple Sundays ago. But if there's something at the end of the tunnel that you're working for, you're going to work a little bit harder, right? Let me tell you guys something. While you guys are getting your people on here, because we have 43 people, so three people at it. Let's go, you guys. Let's get these people on here. Hop in your groups. Tell them you got to get on this call right now. If you want a set of AirPods, get on this call right now. If you want a set of AirPods, hurry up. Log in right now. We only have 30 seconds to get on the call. Make sure you get that done. Because, listen, if you tell your people, if you want financial freedom, get on this call. If you want to not have to go to work every day, hop on this call. If you want to be financially stable, if you want to be able to take your kids to school every day, if you want to be able to live in a world where you don't have to answer to anybody but yourself, get on this call. So right now, you guys, we're at 45. We still need 55 people to get to our goal. So hop on to your phones. Hop, get a text message in. Just let them know. Don't ask any questions. I just need you to get on this call. Look at this. Now we have three L's. Perfect. <laughs> do we have any K's? We don't have any K's. Who do you know with the name that starts with a K? What about an E? Any E lanes? We have no E's. We have no B's. I'm sure there's a Brenda that somebody needs to call. Somebody call Brenda. All the Brendas. Let's make sure to go through the list and see who you don't have and get them on the call. It's really important because, listen, and that's important because I say you got to make sure they stay on the call to the end of the call. And there's a reason for me to say that. And my reason is because you have an agent that gets started in the business. But guess what? If you're working towards a gold, if you're working towards a platinum, it doesn't count unless they stay throughout the whole month, right? They got to stay. So you want to make sure you're telling your people, you know what? You need to stay. This is not something that's going to happen overnight. I need you to hop on here and I need you to stay and listen and learn and understand exactly what we need to do. So you need to tell these people, hop on the call and listen to the entire call if you want the reward, okay? So may, I'm not going to give you the right email address until the end of the call. I'm not going to tell you what to do until the end of the call. So you're going to need to make sure you stay. Now re remember, we're up to 52 people, you guys. Before we got on this call, before we started tonight's call, were you thinking about texting somebody? calling somebody, when you hopped on here, did you look at the participant list to see who was there and who wasn't there? That's the same thing with your back office. When you wake up in the morning and you look at your back office and you see somebody's not there, somebody has checked out, are you thinking about calling them, texting them, emailing them? Sometimes it's not enough to just think about it. You have to actually do it. And that's what we're doing right now. We're actually doing it. We're 46 short from our prize. We're trying to get to this 100, and we have to work together to get there. Who's working? Who's just sitting there watching everybody else work? Who's saying to themselves, well, who's saying to themselves, well, I don't want to call anybody. Everybody on my team is not responding. Everybody on my team is gone. Who said they have to be active? Who said they even have to be in the company? All I said was make sure there are 100 people on the call. Call your mom, call your dad, call your sister, call your friend. I never said they had to be an evolution agent. All I said was you needed 100 people on the call. That's it. And a lot of times we, when we're doing our business, our, our, we're um, putting people in categories. Oh, she's not, she doesn't have enough money. Oh, she doesn't like to travel. Oh, she has her kids. Oh, she doesn't have any time. We're automatically telling ourselves no when you haven't even given the opportunity for the person to say yes. If I call my mother right now and say, Mommy, I need you to hop on this call right now. I need 100 people by the end of this call. If you do this for me, we both win in the end. Think about it. It's really um, an opportunity for you to get out of the box and understand that you can do this any kind of way you want to. It's up to you. But as long as you put boundaries on yourself, you won't make it.
okay? So it's important for you to really look at the opportunity and get it done. Now, 58 people, there are only 40 people. So to every single person on this line, whether you're, you were invited here, whether you were already here, all 58 of you, if every single person right now at this moment called somebody and said, hey, I need you to get on this call. If you get on this call right now, Worst case scenario, you walk away with a pair of AirPods, right? Who wouldn't do it? Even if you don't want the AirPods, you know somebody else that does, why not get them, right? 59 people on the call, super cool, because you guys are working. You guys are working, you're being active, you're doing it. This is the same thing that you do in your business. No matter what part of your business you're working, whether it's your CBD business, whether if it's your travel business, you're actually working to make it happen. And that is so important because that's the only way you're going to get results. If you're sitting there and you open up your back office in the morning, if you even open your back office, some people don't look at their back office but once a week or once a month. But if you're actually working your business, you are looking at your back office every single day. And if you haven't been looking at your back office every single day, tomorrow is a new day, start tomorrow morning. Or actually, no, start after this call. If you haven't looked at your back office today, once this call is over, look in your back office and see what's going on back there. Because there's a lot of stuff back there. I am so excited because you guys are at 62. Now imagine if this was one of those days where you're sitting there wondering, what should I do? My back office doesn't look the way I want to look. I don't have anybody signed up. I don't have any trips booked. What should I do? Well, here's the answer, you guys. Take action. The same way you're taking action right now, you can take action at any time. And I promise you, the reward will be there for you, okay? And remember, it's not just about you. It's about the entire team. It's about everybody that's involved. Everybody on this phone is either going to win together or they're going to lose together. And it's up to you. If you are not pulling your part to get the action taken for your success, then the whole team loses. If you're just sitting there, if you have sat there this entire time and you have not made a phone call, you have not sent a text message, you have not put anything on Facebook, you have not put anything on Instagram, well, guess what? You're not part of the solution. You are definitely part of the problem. And if that hurts your feelings, <laughs> all you got to do is make a call. All you got to do is change it. All you got to do is make it happen. So you have to understand that, too. When your team... As a team, as a company, we're trying to, you know, achieve different goals. Because the bigger we are, guess what? The more commission we get. Guess what? The bigger our residual pool is going to be. Guess what? The more we're going to be respected in the travel industry because we'll be booking tons of travel. So that's really important. Every single person has to pull their own weight. Congratulations. You guys are up to 69 people. And I'm seeing all of the letters filled up, right? So it's really important that you guys work as hard as you can, not only for yourselves, but remember that the people around you and on your team is also uh, dependent upon you as well. Today is the 4th of August. There have been four days that have gone by. I want you to ask yourself, what have I done in the last four days that will change my outcome at the end of this month? What, what have I done? Have you done nothing? Have you spent this four days? Oh, it's the beginning of the month. I can do it later. Oh, I'll wait till later. Oh, the late somebody called in two weeks. Oh, I'm not going to really do anything right now. You know, July was a lot for me. How many of you guys have actually put in some work this month? How many have done it, right? A lot of us have done a lot of work, and guess what? I'm not going to sugarcoat it. A lot of us have done nothing. We've done nothing. And if you've done nothing, right, you're going to get nothing from the What's the song? Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. You're not going to get anything out of anything. So you're going to have to put in something in order for you to have some type of success. Let's see. How many people do we have here? We are almost at our goal. We need 27 people in order for everybody to benefit from our award, which is going to be really nice to do because you'll be able to say, hey, I was on a Tuesday call. I didn't even, you know, expect anything out of that call, but I had a great experience. I learned some information. If you're looking at listening to the analogy and what I'm telling you, you'll understand that this exercise that we're doing right now is directly related to the exercises you're supposed to do 
and your daily um, work ethics, like your habits and what you're doing. You know, you can't expect to win in a company if you're not putting something in to that company. You're not going to get anything out. So I'm super excited. Ooh, you guys are at 72. We were at 73. Somebody left. We have a couple of minutes to hit that 100 spot. Think about it. We got a couple of days before the month is over, right? We have a couple of days before the seventh comes and everything is, you know, set in stone. We have a couple of minutes to get our payout for what we're supposed to do on this call. There are 73 of us on this call, right? 74 of us on this call right now. If every single person right now called their mother, sister, brother, cousin, father, husband, wife, and said, hey, I just need you to get on this call right now. Hop on this call right now. Just listen a little bit. You know, at the end, you're going to end up with a nice little gift. But just hop on. Just listen. There might be something on this call that you want to hear. You'll never know until you get there. Just try, right? Once you do that, they hop on the call. They hear what is being said. If they like it, fine. If they don't like it, fine. But the point is they got the message. So they have made, they've made an educated decision about whether or not they want to join the company. They've made an educated decision about whether or not this is something that they want to do, if it's for them or not. But if you don't even give them the opportunity to try, you both lose. They lose because they don't get to understand or see, you know, what evolution is about. You lose because now you don't have another agent. You haven't been able to, you know, get to the next level because you just didn't try. And it's really important, you guys, when you're going through your businesses, when you're going through life, period, that you expect greatness out of everything. If you walk into a situation negative, you will have negative results. If you walk into a situation positive, you will have positive results. So you have to always walk into a situation with the mindset of having expectancy, expecting greatness, expecting what you want out of it. You just have to expect every single thing to be what you want it to be. And really, honestly, focus on that thing, whatever it is, whatever it is, okay? Hop in the chat box real quick and let me know what good thing you expect this week. What good thing do you expect before Friday? What do you expect before Friday? What do you expect? What do you expect before Friday? What do you expect? Do you expect to get a new travel client? Do you expect to get a new agent? Do you expect to complete some training so that when the world opens up and everything is out there for us, we'll have some free trips? Do you expect to what? What do you expect to do? Okay, gain partners with CBD or booking. Okay, four new partners. Okay, cool. Wait, okay, Nina, yes. Pineapple, you are always putting in work for sure. Have been for the last four and a half years. As you have to understand that every single Tuesday, at 6 o'clock, since 2016, this call has been available. So if there's anybody that says, I don't know where to go, nobody can help me, nobody's there, guess what? <laughs> They're lying, period, because we're here. We are here. We are ready to help. How many people on this line are ready to help somebody? If somebody said, hey, I need some help with my travel business, who would help them? If you would help them, say me. Say me. Exactly. There are tons of people who would help anybody just for the sake of helping them. Because when you're helping somebody, you're definitely helping yourself. And that is going to be um, just everybody's winning. When you're helping, everybody's winning. Everybody. You should wake up every day. Well, I won't tell you what you should do. Let me tell you what I do. I wake up in the morning, and as soon as I open my eyes, I think to myself, what is this day going to be? How am I going to make this day a day that I want to remember. How am I going to bring something good out of this day? What am I going to do to make this one of the best days of my life? How, how is this day? You have to wake up, and once you wake up, you open your eyes. Of course, I thank God every morning when I open my eyes for just letting me have another day. Okay, God, what is my purpose in today? Why did you let me wake up again? What am I supposed to do today? Who am I going to help today? What can I do today? So it's really important when you wake up, the first thing you do is figure out what is my purpose in today. If your purpose in that day is in that day is to book somebody's travel, should you sit there and do nothing, or should you post something or call somebody or do some follow-ups and see who wants to book travel? If your purpose is to 
sign up a new agent? Should you be going back into your prospect list, talking to people to see what they want to do, or are they still have questions? You should be working towards that goal. Once you wake up, what is your goal? My goal today is to clean my closet. So guess what? I can't keep walking by the closet, not going in there, avoiding it as if it doesn't exist. I actually have to go in the closet and start to prepare myself to get this closet clean. It's the same thing with everything. If you decide that there's something you need to do or complete, you have to take the actions and the steps to get there. If I say, oh, my goodness, I want to lose some weight. Oh, I need to lose some weight. I need to lose 70 pounds. I need to lose some weight. But I'm steady shoving donuts and cake and ice cream and milkshakes in my mouth. But every single time I have them to say, I'm going to lose some weight. I'm doing the exact opposite of what I want to do. I should be walking. I should be eating healthy. I should be doing all kinds of stuff in order for me to lose weight. But if I'm saying one thing and doing the exact opposite, that's like a marriage, right? You're married. I want to be married forever. You know, so death do us part. I want a loyal and monogamous relationship. But every Friday night, I'm going out with my side chick. Every Friday night, I'm going out to the club. We're at the strip clubs. I got a boyfriend on the side. I'm doing all kind of extra stuff. And then I wonder, why did my marriage fail? Oh, marriage is horrible. Marriage isn't for everybody. Marriage is just terrible. I, I hate marriage. Nobody should get married. That marriage is a scam. Well, what did you do? You sabotaged your own marriage. And that's what people do in their business. They sabotage their business. They say they want to be successful. They say they want a team. They say they want to book a bunch of travel. But... They don't talk to anybody about their business, right? They don't even let people know they have a business. They're a secret agent, so they don't even get anybody to book. And then they say, I'm quitting because this doesn't work. Well, you did the exact opposite of what your goal was that you wanted to keep in mind. I mean, that you wanted to have. So let me see. How many people do we have? Are we reaching our goal? You guys are fabulous, okay? We have 12 people to reach our goal. Well, I take that back. We have 11 people. Until we reach our goal. Everybody that is here on this call today, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope to see you guys next Tuesday. You never know what I'm going to give you next Tuesday. So make sure you are on this call. Today is 100 people. We get to this 100. Next Tuesday, it'll be 200 people. And I'll give you a gift that week too. But we're going to have some really good lessons. And I need you guys to understand that these trainings are valuable. And if I have to dangle the carrot in front of you, if I have to do all that stuff to let you know that this is valuable, I will. Because I want you guys to understand exactly the benefits, exactly what benefits you have in travel, whether if it's building a team, whether if it's booking travel. Both of them are money-making ventures. We have some top travel bookers on this call. We have Nina Mitchell. We have Patrice Abel Vance. We have a lot of our um, travel big-time travel people making, you know, comma checks in travel. Let me ask you guys a question. If you have made money booking travel, I want you to put the word money in the chat box. If you made any money booking travel, put the word money in the chat box. Let's see who's making money. Okay. 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 I see a lot of people making money. A lot of people making money. I'm going to send all you guys my um, cash app code so that you can send me some of your money. <laughs> But there are tons of people making money. I see a little, at least 30 people who have already put money in the chat box and they're still going off. You guys, it's so funny to me when people say travel agent. They're still travel agents. Even with the Internet, people are still booking travel with agents. Why would they do that? And I have to come back and say restaurants. Are there still restaurants where people have kitchens and they can cook for themselves and they can do all that stuff? What? DoorDash? We go pick up your food and people actually bring it to you? What do you mean? Um, is there still travel agents? Absolutely. We're living in the age of convenience when people want to just think about their trip, let a professional do it, and it's done. The cool part about that, of course, is um, you don't have to pay extra for a travel agent. A lot of people don't think that. They think that it's an expensive um, an expensive VIP type situation that only rich people can do. No, sweetie. If you can go on your internet and go to Priceline.com or go to Expedia.com, you can do the same thing and go to Tony.com and get your travel done, right? So people really just need to be educated about the conveniences 
that they get to have, you know. So it's the same thing um, when you're doing stuff. It's really cool to be able to do that. I think we're getting close to our goal. I'm super excited. We only got five more people. You guys, I want you to hop in the chat box and really just give yourselves a round of applause. Understand that you are reaching your goals and you can do this. There's really no reason why any given Tuesday there should be less than 500 people on this call. And I say that because we have thousands of agents on our teams. So it really just doesn't make sense not to have every single person educated with information, whatever you need. I hope that you guys understand this exercise that we're doing today is just pushing you to let you know you can do this. And it's not fair if you do this and you don't bring somebody with you. That's a little bit selfish, okay? So if I look here and I'm looking at this and I don't see Platinum Pineapple and I don't see Danger Zone and I don't see Linda Cash and I don't see, um, you know, Jennifer Miller or I don't see Latanya or whoever, LaBeef, I need to say, okay, the call started. Let me text him real quick. Let me text Lee. I don't see Lee on here. Let me text Lee real quick. She's not here. Let me text Marissa real quick. She's not here. Oh, my goodness. Let me, you know, it's, it's up to us to make sure that we are keeping each, holding each other accountable. We have accountability partners. We've had them for years. But um, we have to, even if you're not my accountability partner, and I'm used to seeing your name, if I don't see Sheila's name, I'm going to say, I hope Sheila's okay. If I don't see Musetta's name, I'm going to say, well, where is Musetta? You know, it's really important that you definitely hold each other accountable so that we know. Now, when we hit 100, we're at 97. We are working towards this goal together this is what it feels like when you're going for platinum this is what it feels like when you're going for gold when you're going for platinum and you're at 297 you're like oh my god oh my god oh my god we only need three we only need three people what three people can we bless where can we find three people that need an opportunity how can we get these three people to understand that this is going to give them financial freedom time freedom we need three people who can we get and you're at that moment i remember when patrice was going for her platinum and we were up all night, okay? And I mean all night. And it got to the point where it was like, okay, all right, Patrice, <laughs> who, who do you know? Where are your prospects? Who is thinking about it? What do we need to do? And is that exhilaration that's driving you to the next level? And when she hit and her back office turned to platinum, we both screamed and we cried. And guess what? We passed out. We went to sleep. So, and just like now, we were at 97. Now we're at 95. People come in, they go out. People come in, they go out. This phone call is a, is a direct reflection of what your career as a travel agent will be if you are a builder. Now, it's a lot of fun. It's exciting. But it can definitely become frustrating because you're almost there. And, oh, my God, somebody quit. You're almost there. No, my mom was in silver. I have eight people. I can't wait. I need one more person to, to join the business and I'll be silver. And two people fall out. Two people fall out. <laughs> it's like, what did I do? And if you go to the participant, you'll see. We're almost at 100. Oh, my goodness. Now we're at 95. We're almost at 100. Oh, I want those AirPods so bad. Oh, I want those AirPods so bad. We're almost at 100. We're almost at 100. Ah, oh, shoot. We're at 96. Now, remember, we're hopping off this call in eight minutes. So we have eight minutes to get to 100, right? It's like, okay, I want my platinum shake. The month is over in eight, it's in over in eight days. I need it, I need it, I need it. So it's really important for you guys to focus and understand that you're not going to the finish line. You're going through the finish line. You have to go past the finish line with whatever you want. If you're trying to get your ISN card, if you're trying to book tons of travel, you're trying to get as many customers as you can. The ISN card is going to be $5,000 of commission in the year. But what happens if you're almost to that $5,000 and you're at the $4,900? I remember the first year as a travel agent, I was trying so hard to get to that $5,000. And I got to $4,950. Do you think they said, oh, it's okay, Tony, we'll throw in another $48? Absolutely not. <laughs> I had to start all the way over with my uh, calculations. 
So you don't want to get almost there. You want to pass the finish line because you won't get it if you're almost there. I'm almost platinum. I'm at two ninety seven. Do you think you're gonna get that five thousand dollar check at almost platinum? Do you think you're gonna get your gold check at almost gold? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So you have to make sure you don't give up on yourself. You have to make sure you reach your goals. You have to make sure you do this because if you can get this done, I promise you, you will be so happy to pass that finish line. You'll be so happy to get it. And it doesn't matter, you guys, if it takes five months or five years. It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter if you do it like me in 36 hours or like Nikki and Charles in four years. It doesn't matter. Either way, you're still going to get the same result. It's up to you how fast you want to work your business, okay? Ah! Look at the participant list. You guys did it. We're at 100. We just have to keep it at 100 till 645 or 945, depending on where you are in the country. You guys made it. Clap it up for yourselves in the chat box. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. It is so important for you guys to just understand that once you reach that goal, remember, you guys, we started at 40 people. We started at 40 people. Within a couple of minutes, you guys added 60 travel agents to this call, okay? You added 60 new members to this call. It's very important for you guys to understand that you can do this. As long as you do it for all the right reasons and you do it the right way, not only will you get it done, but it will stay consistent and solid. And that's important for you guys to know, okay? That is so important. Congratulations, 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 congrats. Right, right, Aretha. Aretha says no one leave. You want to understand why? Why would you leave? What's going on? Why would you go? Don't go, right? It's, we're almost there. You're almost the executive. You almost booked that trip. Don't go. You guys, if you look at the parallels and this exercise to your business, I think you will understand differently what you need to do to get where you have to go. Now, one person didn't call 60 people. You guys all worked together to reach this goal. Not one person did that. You guys all work together to get there. Do you guys understand that? How many of you guys, if you understand the way this exercise parallels to your business and to your life, just put in the chat box, I understand. If you understand, I want to know, did this help you? Do you get it? Do you see how rewarding it is to work as a team and every single person on your team wins? Everybody wins. Every single person on this team is going to win, right? I just saw somebody leave. I think Linda Cash, um, I think something's going on with her phone. <laughs> something's going on with her phone because she wouldn't leave like that. Yes, I am so happy that you guys understand the significance of this training. A lot of times, and I'm going to tell you, um, Deidre, Deidre checks on me and Fred every Tuesday. Well, she checks on us during the week too, but every Tuesday for this call, Deidre checks on us. And she said, what's up for today? And I said, you know what? Not sure. Fred's on the water having a good old time with his life. I said, I don't know. I just, I said, I, exactly what I told her. I'm going to let the Holy Spirit guide me. Whatever God tells me to tell them, that's what I'm going to tell them today. So, and I had no idea where this call was going. I promise you I didn't. I'm going to have to listen to the recording. But whatever it is that came through me to you was a message that you needed to hear. It's not about you. It's about the entire team and how it affects the company in the whole. Imagine, let me tell you something. Imagine if the company just had um, 2,000 people. Just had 2,000 people. We already know that the company takes $30 from each um, person's monthly and puts it in the pool. So 2,000 people, $30, that's $18,000. Forgive me, but what the hell are we going to do with that? How are we going to split $18,000 when a lot of us are getting 5000 each anyway? What are we going to do with that? We can't do anything with that. So the more, even if you have two people, even if you have three people, even if you have 500 people, whatever it is you have, you are definitely helping every single person. 
And, you know, the thing about this business is it gives you an opportunity to fall, but still stay at the top. I'm not going to lie to you guys about this. My, my back office has gone from 1200 to 600 to 900 But guess what? My pay didn't do that. My pay continuously went up because we all hold each other up. Even though somebody might fall, you're still falling into the team. It's kind of like, you know how I never did this. I never did this. But you know how they have those concerts and um, they jump off the stage into the crowd. But they don't fall on the floor. The crowd holds them up, right? It's like if you fall, the company is still holding you up. You might not have 1,900 people in your back office anymore, but that's Mina has picked up the slack. Patrice has picked up the slack. Lynn has picked up the slack. Linda has picked up the slack, right? So it gives, and that's what they do in families. In families, when you sometimes fall, mom, I lose my job. I might lose my job. Okay, I can't afford daycare anymore. What am I going to do? Don't worry about it, Tony. Bring Tutu over here. We'll wash him. You don't have to pay for daycare. We take care of each other so we don't fall down. And that's the same way evolution is. You can't worry about, oh, my sister just got this house, and my sister has a job, and she's making so much money, and I'm just, I don't know what to do. She's just doing too much, and I can't compete with that. I don't want to, no one's going to say that. You're going to be happy for your sister. You're going to be happy for your cousin or whoever is doing good in that moment. Because guess what? They're never going to look down on you, everybody, they're going to get there and help you get there too. And that's what we're supposed to do in this company. If you're in a situation where you're having trouble booking, I don't know what to do. I have all this stuff going on. How are you so successful? How are you making all this money, Patrice? How are you making all this money, Lynn? How are you making all this money, Nina? How is this happening? Can you help me? Sure. Let's put together, put together a group cruise for you. Absolutely. Let me show you how I do events. We can get 200 people over here and get you some money. That's what this company is about. It's about everybody coming together, doing their part so that we can win. Now, let me specifically say what your part is might not be what my part is. Everybody has their own abilities and their own parts, okay? So I might be able to bring 2,000 people to the company. You might be able to book 5,000 people on a cruise. Well, that's too many people, but 5,000 people, 500 people on a cruise. Or you might be able to, you know, plan the events, do all the registration. Somebody else might, you know, whatever your gift is, whatever your part is, that's what you do. But I don't expect anybody in this company to be Tony Ward. I don't expect anybody in this company to be Patrice. That would be fabulous. And Patrice says this all the time. I'm 62 years old. How many of you guys knew that that lady who looks like she's about 35 is 62 years old, walking around, having a good time, going to all her cruises, booking all those events, dropping it like it's hot? Shoot, I wish I could do that, but I know I can't. So I'm going to play my lane. Patrice will play hers. What? 107. Ah, you guys are absolutely fabulous. I love it. So, super excited. It's past 645, but, you know, that's what it, that's what happened when you let the spirit move you. I am so excited that you guys meet, met your goal and figured this thing out. You guys, hop in the chat box. I just want to know, did this help you? Did this help you? Did this exercise, this conversation, this training, do you understand what you need to do? You can't, when you look in the mirror, who do you see? That's the only person you can hold responsible for your actions. If you see somebody else in the mirror beside yourself, um, I would suggest you go see a therapist, <laughs> but you should only see yourself. That is your only competition. Nobody can do you better than you can do you, period. Once you start competing with somebody else, I promise you, you've already lost the race. You have to be able to do your business your way at your best ability, giving 100% of yourself. That is so important in your business. I would never, I don't even entertain. When it, Tony, I want to do what you did. What is, I'm like, well, you're going to have to be crazy if you want to be me because I'm crazy. So you have your own gifts, your own abilities, your own purpose, your own reason why God put you here to bless the world. And you have to really take that into consideration 
when you are, you know, working your business because you're you. And people can easily go to the Internet, but they're not doing that. They're going to you, okay? So I know everybody wants their gift, and I'm super excited to give it to you. So when I, whew, now I'm going to have to do some work. <laughs> when I, you know, let me see. What is the easiest way to do this? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What's the easiest way where I don't have to do a bunch of work? Um, da -da 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 -da. Okay. Do me a favor. I want you to email me. If you email me, I can respond back with the information, okay? So email me at R-A-W destinations at gmail.com. Again, that's R-A-W destinations with an S at gmail.com. Raw destinations at gmail.com. Email me there. All 100, there's 105 of us on this call, so I only expect 105 emails. If I get, well, 106. If I get more than 106 emails, I know somebody's cheating. So, again, that's R-A, thank you, Deidre. Deidre put it in the chat box, but it is R-A-W, destinations, at gmail.com, okay? Today, our goal was 100. Next week, it will be 250, and I will give you another gift. Um, if you can get 250 people on this call and at least 250 stay till the end of the call, there's going to be a special treat. I'm going to actually see if I can get the founder to train us next Tuesday. Who would like to hear from the founder? Is there anybody here that would like to hear from the founder? Anybody? Does anybody want to hear from David? Anybody? Okay. <laughs> perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, that's fine, Kara. Or Kara. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Kara, Kara. Um, in the email, thank you for asking, Jen Jennifer. In the email, say AirPods, please. That's all you got to say. AirPods, please. Okay, Cheryl. Cheryl was the first person to email me. <laughs> AirPods, please, is all you have to say. You guys, I'm super excited about where this company is going. We have so many things in store. The last thing you want to do will be to get off the train now because we are riding this thing to the wheels fall off, and there's so much good stuff that's about to happen. So I'm super excited to be a part of it. I can't wait to see your faces when you find out exactly what's going on because it's going to be fabulous, I promise, okay? So, you guys, I love you all. I love you all. I love you all. I'll see you at the bank and at the beach. And remember, see you next Tuesday. 250 people, I have something fabulous for you. Bye, everybody.